This is how much they respect Mike. That's why he could be doing a lot more bluffing earlier. Oh, Mike, you're gonna like that flop. Jack 7-6, you picked up Jacks? WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Simply click the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. All right, here we go. Chip leader Rocco Palumbo. He's 24 years old. He's catching cards, he's playing well. He's a chip leader with 2.2 million. Marcello Montagnier, second chip position. Mike Sexton, Hall of Famer, down in third place with 930. And he's a 5,000. Blinds are 15 and 30. Action going to Rocco. He quickly folds. And now Mike Sexton with a king queen. He has raised it to 60,000, Phil. Yeah, I like his raise here. I like the min raise here. I think it's a, a good move. Marcello's going to call with seven five of clubs. Mike must know that Marcello's played a wide range of hands. And here is the flop. It's a jack, jack four. Sexton going to check. Marcello checking behind. Another four on the turn. And now if I'm Mike, I bet, because king high's probably good. Why well, give your man a free card? Look at this. They pulled out full houses. The board plays jacks full, and Mike is making a very shrewd bet. He's bet 200,000. Let me tell you something, there's only 135,000 in the pot, okay? That means that if Marcello calls, the most he can win is 65,000. So mm -hmm. he has to risk 200 to win 65,000. If he's going to call for a tie, Marcello has to call hoping for a split. Yes, it's very likely it's a split, but do you really want to lose 200,000? That's right, that's why it's such a beautiful bet by Sexton. Yep. And he's, Marcello's going to do it. He is going to call for the split pot. And he gets the 65,000 back. Okay, he risked 200 to win 65. I really like Mike's bet on the river there. Well, Mike's a little disappointed that his man called him, but he respects it. Marcello Montagnier is not a professional player. What a feat he is having here tonight. He actually works in a hardware store in Italy. And they're the beautiful Royal Flush Girls. Enjoying the moment. He's the suavest dressed hardware guy I've ever seen. Yeah. Has great, great, fan of it, yes. great patches on his jacket. It's just wonderful. All right, back to this hand. Mike Sexton <laughs> quickly folding. And there's Marcello. Kind of looks like an Italian actor. He does. He's going to raise with his A7. Makes it 60,000 to go. But look at this right behind it. Rocco Palumbo with an ace eight. Rocco always has the best of it. It's crazy. Isn't it? But I think that you're gonna see Rocco, um, look, he's not even looking at his man. He's just gonna make a re-race from a math point of view. So he's used a lot of aggression just from a pure math point of view. Da 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 da, computing, da da da, ace eight should be good. I'm gonna re-race, da 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 da. <laughs> well, he is good, he's got a World Series bracelet under his belt. He's raised to 150, and Marcello's gonna stick around. We have yep. ace eight versus ace seven. And here comes the flop. It's a king jack five, no help to either player. Now that is a very dangerous flop for ace to eight off suit here. But uh, Rocco has no fear. There's 315,000 in the pot. And uh, here comes the C bet. Yep, he's gonna do the continuation bet with ace high. Looks like 125,000 into the hardware store man. And Marcello, if he could use that creative aggression that he used with the jack deuce off suit, which we all piled on and hated, if he could ever come up with a check raise in a spot like this, it would be great for him, but he just has not bluffed enough. Well, he is going to lay it down. He's played an awful wide range of hands, but not bluffed enough. That makes the kind of guy you can just pick apart and beat up. That's what Rocco's doing to him. Three-handed poker at the Casino di Venezia. Action going to Marcello. He's going to raise with an ace-queen. And now Rocco with an ace jack. Finally, he's on the other side yeah. of one of these three-handed. Now listen, this is where you look to see, does this guy have something that can take him to the next level in poker? Does he look at Marcello and say, wow, he really has a strong hand. This is the time to just call him. So 
He's just a re-raising machine then. Yeah, he's gonna raise with his ace jack, makes it 200,000 to go. Mike Sexton out. It's pretty standard, pretty hard not for him to re-raise, but I'm always looking for that extra level that makes someone a great, great player. That level where they just seem to understand when Ace Jack is not the best hand. Well, he raised, and it's going to pay off for him because he hits the jacks on the flop. Two kings with a jack. They both check very quickly, though. Eight of spades on the turn. So Rocco was behind, but out in front, going to check again. Deuce of hearts on the river, helping either player. I actually like the check check because he may force if Marcello does have, like, for example, a pair of sixes. Uh, Rocco is going to get paid off here on the river. Well, finally, Rocco is going to bet the 275. Pretty lucky for Rocco, though. Yeah, beautiful flop for him. Now, this is a tough spot for Marcello. I've, you know, given him some hassle for some stuff, but if he calls here, this is a call I wouldn't blame him. Well, he's going to call it. For making. He's going to call and he's going to lose. He's going to see the bad news. You hit your jack. You were lucky. I'm not even going to show you. I'm just going to pay it. Rocco Palumbo start to roll over these guys. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Simply click the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. All right, well, Mike Sexton on the ropes here, circling the drain. Can he come back? Mike this time with a jack nine of hearts with the button. And he's going to pop it up, makes it 60,000 to go. Okay. Marcello cannot re-raise him with an A7. And Rocco cannot re-raise him with A3. They've been re-raising each other. This is how much they respect Mike. That's why he could be doing a lot more bluffing earlier. Oh, Mike, you're going to like that flop. Jack, 7-6, you picked up jacks. But his patience is going to pay off because Marcello is not going to get away from this hand. Marcello has been leaking major oil, and now he's going to give all the chips to Mike, and Mike's going to be right back in there. If he has top pair in a spot where Marcello, who's on mega tilt, could never in a billion years fold a7. Well, Mike's going to do the right thing. He's betting at 150. Marcello has a piece of that pair of sevens, though, and he's going to call it. Yeah, but at this point, Mike is now going to be all in no matter what comes off. Mike with a big chance here. He really doesn't want to see a club right now, Mike. Or an ace. Oh, man. Aces and sevens for Marcello, and he's going to check it into Mike. Oh, boy. Look at that. And Mike is really in his mind. He's like, okay, the ace could not have hit him unless he has exactly ace six or ace seven. A club draw, Marcello would have probably moved in. I'm all in. Hey, Coach. Oh, so man. Mike has to move in. Oh, boy. Mike's gone all in, and he's been called. Here you go. Yes, you hit an ace. And then some aces and sevens. Sexton so in sick. tremendous so bad sick. shape. Marcello's leaking oil all over the track. Mike hit the oil and went smashed into the wall. Need a miracle. He has two jacks left in the deck. That's two outs. Um, so basically, he's a 20 to 1 underdog to hit it. That's really bad. Um, really unlucky ace for him there on the turn. Mike Sexton's chance of becoming a WPT champion. Coming down to this card. He gave himself such a great chance, Mike did. I mean, as that's the virtue of being patient. Five of spades on the river. Mike is out. Now, Mike has been extraordinarily unlucky in this spot uh, because Marcello, who has an outdrawn Rocco one time, hops in there on one of the three or four that Mike plays and outdraws him in that hand. And, uh, you know, very unlucky spot for Mike. What are you going to do? Mike Sexton, our Mike Sexton, Hall of Famer, out in third place in Venice. Going to take home 54,000 euros. Let's go see what Mike has to say. Well, it's always frustrating when you go out at whatever position, whether it's on day one, day two, day three, or the final table if you don't win. So, you know, only one guy can win the tournaments. Just wasn't in the cards for me today, I guess. And uh, maybe I could have played him a little better. Who knows? But it just wasn't my day to win. But, you know, I came to the final table in third chip position. That's where I went out. So pretty standard, I guess. The blinds are 15 and 30, and Rocco has raised with a king deuce. Okay. And Marcello with a queen 10 of clubs, just calling. And now we're going to see our first flop, the heads-up action. 
And a queen just like that, 9-6. Queens for Marcello. Yep, great flop for Marcello. Well, he's going to check it. Let's see if Morocco makes the continuation. Of course he does. 70,000, Mike. Quick call by Marcello. No check raise. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't check raise with top pair. Playing unorthodox here tonight, and here comes the turn card. Oh, a 10 comes off. Top two pair now for Marcello, but he checks here. Vince, I would think Rocco would check right behind him. It's just too scary a board. Couple straight possibilities out there. All those middle cards. Should it? It's the kind of hand you put a guy on who doesn't re-raise you before the flop, but it's just not Rocco's style to check. He bets out with a gut shot straight draw. Yeah, 130,000. It's because he's been doing this all night and winning, and this time he's going to be on the other side of it. As Marcello, hardware store man, is going to raise. Like he should, makes a 260 to go. And I think Rocco might get the hint now. I know Rocco's aggressiveness has certainly paid off for him tonight. No doubt about it. And there you see a concerned look in the eye of Rocco for like the first time at this final table, Vince. First hit he's taken in a long time at this final table, but Marcello getting on the board. Yeah, nicely done. There's the WPT Champions Cup. Everybody wants their name on that. But Rocco now, will that be the turning point? We will see. 2.8 versus Marcello's 2.3. Well, here Rocco looks down at the worst two cards you can start with in a heads-up battle, a three-deuce offsuit. Makes a raise, goes to 60,000 with that mess. And Marcello with a queen 10, just calling. Yeah, playing heads-up, this hand is ranked worse than a seven-deuce offsuit in Hold'em. Doesn't stop Rocco. King Jack five with two clubs. Pretty good flop for Marcello. He's got an open and straight draw. But he checks it. Rocco with a strong three high is betting it 70,000. Oh, Vince, when I see all this, I wish I was back down there playing again. I'd have played a lot more aggressive against this guy, I can tell you. Quick call, of course, by Marcello. I knew Hoping. he was at it, but I just didn't really know. Now I do. It's a four that actually gives Rocco now an open ended straight draw. Marcello also with a higher open-ended. Well, Marcello checks again, and Rocco. This guy just doesn't know what it's like to slow down. No, and Vince has got the kind of hand that many players would just easily check on the turn. Happy to have a draw. Well, it's 130,000. Marcello will make this call. We've got a nice pot going on. He's not giving up. Let's take a look at the river card. Which one of them will get lucky? How about neither? Seven of diamonds. Marcello has the best hand. He's checked it. And if Rocco fires at this pot, he's liable to win it. But the guy called you, raised before the flop, called the bet on the flop, the bet on the turn. Can you fire yet another shell? Rocco knows it's the only way he can win this pot is to bet at it on the river. Oh, boy. And the former accountant does so. He's betting 200,000. He has fired three barrels at this pot, Vince, with just a three high and going to take down the pot. And maybe that's why the guy's got all the chips here tonight. I haven't seen his cards earlier, but all I know is he betted every pot, it seemed like. That was the beast that was on your right. Now you see why you're pushed out of this thing. I do. Well, this is great heads-up action we got right now between two Italians. They're both tough. Well, Rocco, about where he started this heads-up battle, 3 million to 2 million. Blinds are 15 and 30,000. And action's going to be on Marcello this time. Non-professional player, only been playing in four years. Used to watch the World Poker Tour and learn, he said. What a chance of a lifetime here tonight. With a 9-8, just calling. Rocco not going to get aggressive with a 6-5. So we are seeing a cheap flop. Flop is a king, 6-7. So Marcello with an open-ended straight draw. Rocco with a piece of that pair of sixes. Rocco's checked. Marcello's betting 75. Well, Rocco's got bottom pair here, as you can see. Going to make the call with it. Certainly is. Turn card is an eight of diamonds. Well, this gives Rocco an open and straight draw as well, but as you can see, the way the cards lie, Marcello now has best hand and best draw. Rocco checks and quickly, Marcello reaching for chips. 110,000. Marcello, who really hasn't made a lot of moves here at least it didn't appear like at this table. We made a lot of calls. <laughs> Morocco's going to make this call, though. 
Well, indeed he is. Down to the river we go. And a four that gives Rocco a straight. Incredible. Now look at this. Marcello betting out of turn here, 100,000. Yes, he certainly is. He bet out of turn. No, no, no. Excuse me. Okay, this is okay. This is okay. I'll take it back. No, nope, that's not the stay case. in there right now. Of well, it depends. If Rocco checks, that bet stands. Yep. But if he bets out, then Marcello has an opportunity to take the bet back and not put anything in the pot. So obviously, Rocco, who's made a straight on the river, should check here. Yeah, yeah. They're getting some free money for that's sure. But he's betting four hundred thousand here, Vince. This gives Marcello a chance to get out and yeah, save that hundred thousand. Yeah, even this is kind of this is a. Definite bad move here by Rocco. He's made a major mistake here. Now the tournament director now says you get an opportunity to take that back because he bet. Marcello grabbed those pinks pretty quickly, too. <laughs> he sure did. He's only got eights. He's got 200,000. You can take your money back. You feel like you got a bargain, perhaps. Or do you want to stick it in there? Yeah. Saying, what is this guy betting for if, if he has something? He That's has a five. Exactly right. But look at this. He's got to lay it down. Well, he lays it down, and Rocco has played great all night long. But in my view, that's a mistake. I would check, let the guy bet the 100000 and then raise him with my straight, where you're guaranteed to make at least 100000 there. All right. The blinds are going up to twenty and 40000 The accountant, Rocco Palumbo, former accountant, I should say, is the chip leader with close to $3.3 and the hardware store employee, Marcello Montagnier. He's a non-professional, only been playing poker for years with about 1.9 million. Well, two Italians fighting it out for the crown to become WPT Venice Grand Prix champion. Rocco with a 9-3 this time, gonna raise, makes it 80,000 to go. And Marcello with just a jack six will make this call. You just see how aggressive Rocco has been from the get-go at this final table. Let's see if it works for him here. All right, whoa, a six just like that, six, eight, five. And Marcello has two sixes. He's got second pair and checks. Rocco with an inside straight draw. Well, he also checks. Going to the turn, king of diamonds. Helps neither player. Marcello checking his sixes. Well, Rocco going to try to represent. He's got a king in his hand. Going to bet here. Yeah, sure is. 130,000. He did raise before the flop. Maybe Marcello will put him on it. Nope. He's not a believer quite yet. Not believing it. Has the best hand with the two sixes. Down to the river we go. And a seven comes off. Rocco has made a nine high straight, hits the gut shot. Marcello checking again. What a card for Rocco. Well, Rocco was stealing, stealing, and now makes pretty close to the nuts with the nine high straight. And what's the amount you can get out of your, oh, 400,000? Vince, this is a pot size bet. There's 420,000 in the pot. He hasn't made a bet of a pot size bet all night long. He's trying to make it look like he's stealing. Yeah, Marcello gets away from it, though. Yeah, good nice lay drop. down by Marcello, but it's the kind of bet that looks like a bluff. Yep, it did, but it wasn't. Uh, no. Marcello, you're a genius. Heads up action continues. As you can see, the winner is going to take home 140,000 euros I'm with Mike Sexton who finished third here. What an effort. But we're down to these two right now. Well, Rocco with well over a two-to-one chip lead now. Marcello picking up a decent hand here. King Jack of Clubs, gonna raise it up to 80,000. Yes, and Rocco Palumba with a Jack nine. He has been dominating all night long, everyone at the table, and he's gonna speculate with his Jack nine. He makes hands when he needs to, and he steals them when he needs to. So why not play every pot? All right, the flop comes up. King, eight, five. That's good for Marcello hitting his kings. Yep, great flop for Marcello. Nothing happening for Rocco, but look at, what is he doing here? Wow. He's leading right out into the pre-flop razor. This is something you don't see very often at all. And I'm certain Marcello feels like he's got the best hand with the two kings. 
Marcello just going to call him, though. Yeah, with a big flop and a very solid kicker. Queen on the turn. Yeah. Rocco has a gut shot straight draw now. But obviously, he must catch a 10 to win this pot. It's the only card he can win with. He's continuing to bet 175,000 this time. You just think the guy with a check raise with a flush draw. Certainly, if he'd have flopped two pair. But Marcello still not raising, just calling with the two kings. Very interesting. Down to the river we go. Now the five of hearts comes off. So the board pairs and a possible flush is out there. And now Rocco finally slowing down. Now Marcello finally going to bet top pair here. Yep, 200,000. Rocco with just jack high. Throwing up the white flag, perhaps. Just the look on his face says he's not going to raise it. But you think he's contemplating a call here? Thinking his opponent might have a straight draw? Well, I mean, that's the only hand he can beat. Well, I think he's going to lay it down. He's just taking a lot of time here. Well, why are you posturing? Just throw it away if the guy bets. They are Italian, Mike. They take the dramatic, they take their time. They're passionate. They take it personally, their cards. Former account. Wow, he He's called him. Call. Has, has to put him on specifically a 6 7 to make that call. Now look at this semi slow roll here. <laughs> As Marcello <laughs> throws up the king. Oh, man. Well, Rocco laughs, but very puzzling. Must have put him on exactly a straight draw, Vince. There's no other hand he could call there in that spot. Yeah. Very strangely played hand there. Bad evaluation. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Simply click the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. And to the felt we go. Rocco this time with a jack eight. He's going to raise, makes it 80,000 to go. Well, that's, I guess, maybe one of the times to make a hero call, as we say is when you got the big chip lead and you're, everything's going well for you. But yeah. that one backfired on Rocco. Let's see if it'll cost him. So this is Marcello this time has a pair of nines. Wakes up with a real hand, a wired pair. And he's going to re-raise, makes it 170 to go. Well, Rocco just got burned with a jack nine offsuit. He could get burned again with a jack eight offsuit here. He plays this pot. 90,000 in addition. And he's got 3.7, so he can afford to speculate. Well, I'm not sure you want to give away chips with this kind of hand, but we'll see what happens. Our oh, whole an eight. Jack, a two pair for Rocco. Oh, buckle up, folks. We're going to see some fireworks here. Marcello's got a pair and an open end straight draw. Rocco, as you can see, has flopped top and bottom pair. How lucky is this guy? Wow, Marcello coming out swinging like he should. 180. With the open ended, with yeah. the pair. Rocco's definitely going to raise here, Vince. If your opponent's got king, queen, or ace, queen, or ace, king, you just can't give him a free card here. That is right. And he does raise, Local makes raises. it 480 in total. Now, if you're Marcello, you've got two nines, an open end straight draw. Do you want to ship it all and get it all in here? Maybe your opponent's got okay. king, queen. No, he's just going to call it. Maybe thinking if a baby card comes off and the guy fires again, oh, I can get away from this up. hand. Well, this he's is a very big got, pot. Well, he's got over 800,000 left, but let's see what happens. Rocco, the former accountant, in a good place in a four of diamonds, makes it even better. Wow, now Marcello's going all in. A snap call there by Rocco. Just surprised if Marcello was going to make that play, just wouldn't have got it all in on the flop. Though it wouldn't have helped any because we know how strong Rocco was. So they turn up the cards. Well, Marcello not dead. He's got 10 outs, as we say. He wins the pot. He makes a straight, a seven or a queen. We give him a straight. He also wins with a nine. As the cards lie, Rocco about a three to one favorite to win this tournament right here. Rocco Palumbo, one card away from becoming a WPT champion. Here we go to the river. We're going to burn and turn. Let's see it. It's a three. There it is. Rocco Palumbo has done it. He certainly has. Rocco Palumbo will take home 140,000 euros. He's the WPT champion, Mike. And a deserving champion, Vince. 
But before we talk to our champion, let's talk to our runner-up, Marcello. Sono molto soddisfatto lo stesso. Un secondo posto comunque a un VPT penso che eh, sia importante. Eh, è che non riesco mai a arrivare primo. <ride> Ho fatto sempre secondo, però va bene, dai. Sarà per la prossima volta magari. Si spera. Well, congratulations to you and to Italy for taking down this title. One more time, let's hear it for our champion, Kimberly. Back to you.